Hi, everybody. I've got a, a cooking-themed uh, journal, fabric journal here today that I wanted to show you. It is four and a half by seven and a quarter. Got a real pretty vintage picture of a lady cooking and a rose and some sorry silk. That's um, some damask and uh, part of a doily here and here. All kinds of layered fabrics. There's the spine. And here's the back with a bigger piece of that doily and some curtain, some eyelet fabric. And it's got a lace closure. My thought was to have um, just all recipes. So your journaling cards are recipes. I mean, yeah, your journaling cards are recipes. You know I like my recipes. Opening it up, we have a pocket here with some ruffles and... Uh, this was part of a napkin, and on the inside, a little booklet, some coffee dyed papers, and some vintage um, encyclopedia page, and that's a, I think that's a piece of vellum, but it has little hearts on it. A little card for notes on a book page, and over here is a recipe for crawfish mousse supreme. I don't know if that's any good. If you can't get crawfish in your area, um, which I'm from Louisiana and I don't particularly care for crawfish, but uh, I always use shrimp. So there you go. <laughs> One recipe. Over here, got a little place to make some notes if you like and another recipe card for citrus and honey grilled chicken. I haven't tried it. But, you know, I'm willing to try anything. But I did put a lot of Louisiana recipes in here. Place to make some notes here and some journaling for the back. And this is chicken etouffee. And etouffee is, is a popular dish here in Louisiana. And this looks like a good recipe. If it's got the onion, the bell pepper, and the celery, you just can't go wrong. But that's, that's yummy. And then a place for, for journaling. And I sewed around it with that thick um, thread. Over here is a tuck spot here with a little a little card and a little bit bigger card that goes behind here. Who remembers getting milk delivered to their house? Oh, that'll date you. I remember. I just dated myself. <laughs> Over here is uh, some is a pocket and it's got a you don't want that. You don't want those threads either. Um, it's got a pocket with some cards in it. You know, and you can add your own recipes to this. You can make it a recipe book or just have fun journaling in a recipe book. It doesn't have to be about recipes, but it's, that's just the theme I chose for this one. A glassing bag that's been coffee dyed. Okay, these are kind of... I, I put recipe cards in here to journal on. You may want to, like I said, you may want to add your own recipe. And this is from a 1971 General Mills. Um, it was kind of like a, a index uh, cards, a whole bunch of cards like this. But anyway, that's for muffins, breakfast muffins. And bacon muffins. Ooh, can't be bad. Anything with bacon's got to be good. And over here is another recipe and another recipe. Loaded down. But there's room for more. You got a little place to put something and, of course, to journal behind it. And this is for veggie gumbo. And it's got the good stuff in it. That thick uh, sewing, pack, sewing thread. And here's another place to journal. I like using these tuck spots. You get you get more use out of one page. Louisiana style beef stew. And the only difference I can see between this and regular beef stew is the hot sauce. Yeah, the hot sauce. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good recipe or not, but it came out of a really good Louisiana cookbook that I have tried recipes with. There's a little... Baker, some cocoa, 
take each thing, place the journal, and let him stick up a little bit. He's cute. And over here is a belly band, a little spoon. And I put a vintage index card, because that's what we used to keep all our recipes on, or it's index cards. And this is garlic roux chicken and sausage gumbo. And if you can't get unduly sausage in your hometown, you can get um, Hillshire, which is just as good. The Hillshire smoked. And the Creole seasoning would be Tony Satchery's. So that looks like a good recipe. Somebody's seriously looking out here. Over here is a tuck spot, and you can add more, you know, if you wanted to. A little jar with grapes and coffee on some lined paper. But, you know, I mean, you can keep adding stuff. So don't be afraid that just because that's what's there doesn't have to be all that's there. Over here is some little jars to make some notes on and um, a piece of coffee dyed paper and a guest ticket. Isn't that neato? I like that. It's sewn around in silver. And over here is a little mini booklet with some cheesecloth. Just a little mini booklet. And an envelope, and of course, placed a journal back there. And it does have coffee tessa, coffee dyed papers in it. And you could take this out and put a recipe that you may have that would fit in here to keep. Over here is another recipe card. And a piece of the, the uh, papers that, you know, I like to make. A little recipe card, like I said. And here's the other side of that glassine bag. And it's got a, this is a recipe card that I got in a state sale, so the color on it is, it is natural from the age. And a bigger card. Wouldn't it be neat to journal on recipe cards? Little baker. Little baker. Skillet beef supper. Like I said, these are from 1971. Some of the pictures of the stuff that they create are just scary. Like the cakes and stuff. Oh my gosh. Nothing like you see today, that's for sure. Here's a booklet, and it's got some a pocket with some script, and then a vintage grocery card, a little knife with menu, and this is just all different kinds of papers in here. They're pretty. You can record whatever you like. Like I said, it does not have to be food. Although I'm a big foodie, if y'all couldn't tell by now with all these recipes I put in books. Coffee dyed papers. Got the pocket back here. Look at that. I remember getting a cone for five cents. I know, crazy, huh? I'll put that back in a minute. Over here's a little mini recipe card. And one of my favorite recipes. Old fashioned Hoppin' John. I love Hoppin' John. That's a meal in itself with a piece of cornbread. Mm. So y'all may want to try that again. I sewed around it. And then this is just a, an additional piece of coffee dyed paper. In case you need it. And on the back, again, a place to make some notes. Coffee dyed paper. Crescent Chick Be Quicks. I have no idea if that's any good or not. But it's a fun thing to journal on, you know, a recipe card. It doesn't, like I said, it does not have to be kept for just recipes. 
you know, you can do anything you want with these books. That's the joy of it. And I used an eyelet, fa eye eyelet, I can't talk today, eyelet uh, fabric for the inside. And I just let my cloths and threads hang over. There's the back. There's the front again. I want to thank y'all for being here with me today. And I'm going to do one more video, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.